Welcome back to Mystery Video Friday, where I go back into the archives of my footage and pull something from September 2019. Hope you enjoy this one, where I'm cleaning my oven. Step one, I'm just going to wipe off and see what I can get with just water. I've rinsed out the rag and now I'm going to try it on. It's not a lot. needs a little elbow grease. I'm going to try the baking soda method. It is getting some stuff off. I'm not sure if it's going to get all of it off like this, but it is getting a lot off. Out of curiosity, what is your go-to oven cleaner? Comment below. You can see that it is better. It's still not great, but it is definitely better than it was. And I'm going to try to get the other corner. I found a, a bottle and I'll just put water in it. So that, that would make it easier. the basics done of cleaning the oven but it wasn't it was going to take a very long time and a lot of energy and it's quite frankly energy I do not have so I'm going against my everything within me to use the self-clean part of the oven I got the outside part of the stove and the top, the actual stove part looks good. The oven part needed help. So that's what I'm hoping the self clean will do. I wish I could just leave while I was doing this, but I guess you shouldn't leave an oven running when you leave the house. So, I'm going to stay put. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. I think it's been about two hours and we went ahead and stopped the self-cleaning because we looked inside and saw ash. Ash, ash everywhere. We're going to see what it looks like once it's cool enough for us to open the oven door. Let's remember what it looked like before. Here is what it looks like now afterwards. I've not wiped it down yet. Hey, can you remove the front of the oven so I can get in there? And just like that, I have a clean oven. Need to put the door back on and clean everything that's in the bottom drawer. But other than that, she's good to go. I'm going to rinse off this nasty sponge. 